All vs. Rising, Soul Fam. It's time to represent the all seeing my heart and soul out of the uncle life of the multiverse. So, with this topic, Generation Z of Episode 2, I'm going to tell you right now. When you encounter Generation Z, which is people of my age group, and you are in a slave owner corporate country, you must avoid anything that deals with spirituality and intuitional spiritual talks of the all seeing unk life, my heart, and soul eye talks around Generation Z because they're not trying to hear that. And let me tell you this too you know, Generation Z is the generation where if you show a lot of your inner self, if you show a lot of your inner powers, they're going to be freaked out and, and scared by that shit. It's all true. Because, like, with Generation Z in these slave owned corporate countries like USA, Canada, United Kingdom, since Generation Z is full of individuals that is so connected to the mainstream demonic media that is pushed out on these social medias, whether it be Instagram, TikTok. You know, Twitter, all of these corporate social media outlets. Generation Z of my generation age group, they're going to be connected with that Jezebel demon frequencies. So if you a talented person, whether you was coming from Generation Z or a millennial or Generation X or many generations like way before. When you dealing with Generation Z people of my age group. You can't talk all that spiritual stuff with them. You can't share your talents with them. They're going to be freaked out because they're so comfortable with demonic, narcissistic, slave on frequencies. It's like, for example, right? Let's say, let's say me, I was doing, I was practicing jujitsu or practicing taekwondo, practicing capoeira. If I'm practicing those three martial arts in front of a group of Generation Z people that's so connected to to you know indoctrinated slave owner demon frequencies they're gonna be freaked out because you know when you practice things like capoeira, jujitsu, MMA, UFC, Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Shaolin, all that stuff like that's all part of your inner self because martial arts deals with a lot of inner self frequencies of a god of a celestial omni god somebody that's like transcended beyond reality it's all facts so like if if i'm practicing shaolin and taekwondo in front of a lot of individuals who is connected to you know jazzy bell demon frequencies of like you know messing up their genetics and things like that doing things that a lot of the mainstream actors and mainstream you know music artists are doing like fucking their bodies up and shit Generation Z is going to be the first people to do that. You don't see a lot of gener Generation Z people, you know, taking care of their bodies and things like that. You know, actually enhancing their all seeing my heart and soul eye if they have any. I'm going to tell you, only 1% of individuals in Generation Z has the all seeing intuitional my heart and soul eye of the unk life. Just like the necklace that I'm wearing represents the man and the woman and represents the all seeing my heart and soul eye. This eye represents the all seeing my heart and soul eye of the man and the woman. You see, Generation Z, they don't talk about that stuff. Now, let me tell you this too. Me being, me being birthed in Generation Z, my first anime that I saw was Dragon Ball Z, which got me into all these different animes like Sailor Moon, Yu Yu Hakusho, you know, the Mega Man, the Japanese Mega Man animes, Mega Man X and all that. And it told me everything about, it told me everything about this Jazzy Bell Demon Frequency societies that I am living on and that I'm experiencing every day on planet Earth. Especially Yu-Gi-Oh! too, the first Yu-Gi-Oh! show. The very first Yu-Gi-Oh! series with Yami Yugi. And you know, Yami Yugi is a chosen one. He's a walking prophet. You know, he's highly intelligent. In Generation Z, if it's 1% of soulful vibrational women, soulful vibrational men who carry themselves like omni-gods and omni-goddesses and all that, in Generation Z, they're going to be hated by other indoctrinated Jazzy Bell frequency Generation Z people. That's just how it is. So like when it comes to individuals like me, when I'm around people of, of my generation, 
I can't really show much of my inner self around them. I can't even show my outer self around them because that just like literally messes, that just like literally freaks them out. My outer self and my inner self of my omni God transcended beyond reality powers of me. It scares a lot of these indoctrinated zombies of Generation Z because Generation Z has the most organic portals or soulless vibrational beings than any generation that that ever exists on planet earth or any planet in any timeline it's all facts you know what i'm saying generation z is the worst generation when it comes to trying to talk to them about spirituality and all this stuff too you know what i'm saying because like the platinum rule the golden rule generation z doesn't peak they don't even try to peak to goldness to platinum greatness of being like a celestial being they don't it's not it's not true at all not in this timeline and this is all facts for y'all man i hope everybody like taste this i hope every soulful vibrational being taste this and like you know plant this in their all seeing my heart and soul eye dna powers and be con and be connected with the all seeing and unk life of the of the my heart and soul eye and heal this multiverse in all timelines in this timeline to put it into these demon jazzy bell frequencies man because let me tell you something generation to the generations of the 2010 and 2020 they're the last hope of all timelines be Including this current timeline while making this video to put it into these demon slave on frequencies because let me tell you something generation Z They get controlled like puppets It's like the draconians and the reptilians and etc narcissistic slave owner demons of the underworld Who created this slave owner matrix society? That's not the real world. That's all fake and so and so false reality they control generation Z like a puppet on a string in these big corporate expensive slave owner countries. Just remember I told you this.